Welcome back. Sun going down around middle Georgia right now. I do like the oranges. They're kind of faint, but you see them a little bit over our Ken's camera in downtown Macon. I-75 still looking good in Monroe County as well. Going to be a cold night expecting us to get into the mid 30s. Still a little bit of shower activity hanging around our southeastern counties. Now a couple more showers have popped up further north. Jasper Putnam counties will watch those as well. I mean this has just been persistent. Here's what we got over the weekend and into today. The wet spot Cochrane just under 2 inches. We got about 1.7 inches in Eastman, but an inch and a half in Hawkinsville and in Montezuma, as well as in McRae. So definitely our fair share of rain, but not like too much. So we weren't really dealing with flash flooding, but obviously there's a lot of wind out there. Things were crazy. Tonight, we're going to be cold now that the skies are clearing up and not going to act as a blanket anymore with those clouds overhead. So wind chills could be below freezing for us. An actual low of 34 in making that wind will stay out of the north as we go through tonight, gusting up upwards of 15 to 16 ish miles per hour. A lot of these lows may end up being a degree or two colder with the exception of this one right here. Uh, Macon will not be the cold spot. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Austin's 34, Jackson also 34, but you're going to end up probably seeing somewhere like Eastman that gets down to freezing. And I'm just going with my gut here. We've had a lot of uh, systems in these winter months and a lot of times they've less the temperatures around the freezing point the day or so after. Uh, so that's just what I'm thinking will end up happening again. But Regardless, a cold night, but we should not really like, be worried about below freezing type conditions. Anyways, we're still doing a little bit of this mess down here in our south or, uh, southeastern counties. Uh, I still got a couple of showers in the northern counties, but they're not going to last much longer. Okay, overnight clouds do clear out. It may end up being a little slower than what the models are saying. I mean, last week they were like, oh, it's going to start to look good by lunchtime on Monday. And I mean, sun's going down and we're still like 90% cloudy. Uh, but tomorrow we are looking good throughout the day. We'll be a little on the windy side or rather on the breezy side. Today is windy. Yes, it is windy. Tomorrow will be breezy. Wednesday, just nice. Not a whole lot going on there. Plenty of sun. We'll keep it nice into Thursday as well. Starting to get even warmer with those temperatures. Continuing into tonight though, those gusts aren't terrible, but again, any little bit of wind is obviously cold when we're talking about temperatures that dip down towards that freezing point. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be seeing wind gusts that could be over 20 miles per hour. So breezy, not windy, definitely sweater weather, upper 50s, low 60s, but ample sunshine. The wind backs off overnight tomorrow night and stays that way into Wednesday, which will be a pretty cool day. Probably a little cooler than tomorrow as most of us only get into the upper 50s. But good day either way. Plenty of sun and it doesn't take us too long to get going as we head into the afternoon. 61 for the high tomorrow. Not a bad day to take the kids to the playground. North northeast winds could gust over 20 miles per hour though, so a sweater a good idea. Your extended forecast coming up in 10 seconds. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. Oh, look, it looks good over the weekend or the week and then the weekends. Another one where we're going to have to deal with rain. I don't know who did something that made someone mad, but weekend and rain are basically synonymous for us in middle Georgia at this point. 